So hello everyone, uh, this is Elliot, and I'm here to make a little video about the about the panel extensions for Martin Mullen from Wintergarten. So this is for the MMX, uh, Marble Machine X, and uh, I've been tasked uh, to with actually making those out of clear plastic. Uh, yes, it's transparent, so you can't see it on camera, but it's here. Uh, so uh, I've been tasked with testing out uh, a few different thicknesses of plastic and make like sets of, of the funnel extensions. So that includes uh, the half height funnel extensions, front and back for each funnel, of course, and uh, the larger uh, funnel extensions. So I'm going to do this with the laser because that was the original goal of uh, having somebody else do it, because doing it by hand with P2 water bottles, um, turns out it's not that effective. Well, it, it is effective, but it's fairly hard work and, and it might not look as good at, as if it was done with a, a CNC that doesn't chip away at the plastic like a CNC would or a hand cutter. So uh, I'm here at my university. Uh, I've got a laser uh, in, the, in the university's fab lab pretty useful, to be honest. I, I've managed to, to extract the, the 2D files from the step file that Martin sent over with all the funnel extensions. And I've arranged them on, on sheets that, I, that I, I'm going to let fit in the laser, first of all, because it's not that big compared to other options out there. I've placed all four different parts, and I'm, I'm first going to try out different settings with a very basic little square um, on the laser just to calibrate everything for each uh, plastic thickness and uh, then I'll be able to cut, it, cut out the, um, the actual parts without a problem and without having failed parts because that would be a waste of plastic. In terms of plastic, what I've got is, uh, what, is what I found basically. So Martin asked for, uh, if I remember correctly, was a quarter of a millimeter to a millimeter of thickness. So what I found was exactly a quarter millimeter, so 250 micron, and a half a millimeter, so 500 microns. I'll be trying those out, uh, and of course I've got all the sheets prepared to make at least two sets of each um, of everything that Martin sent over. So two half height and two f and one full height uh, pair of extensions. So I'm going to start off by turning on the laser. Uh, I'm not wearing a mask because for filming purposes, but I'm in university, so uh, I should probably wear it as often as possible. So now that we have no more ears because that was so loud, um, we can just put the material in. So we'll, we'll start with quarter millimeter. Uh, we'll open this up. We'll put it put it in a corner. We'll have to move the head around so that we're over the plastic and not over the metal. I have to focus the, la the laser, so we have a small, very basic tool, which is which is called a piece of plastic, uh, and that's just a piece of acrylic that's just the right height for focusing over a material. So I bring it up until it touches the, the focus cone of the, the laser. Let me bring you in. I'm going to put you right here. So as I said, the laser, the laser cone, which is this part, should just about touch so it can move freely between the plastic sheet. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So that's focused. As you might be able to see from the little red dot, I am over the plastic, so I can just move this pretty easily. Pretty easily, I mean, it's not very precise, but that's where it should be. I'm going to just put you in there because it's more fun, I guess. So right now, I have a speed of 20 and a power of 100, which I don't have any reference points for that. I think it's 100% of, of the power, which is 
60 watts, I think. From, from previous tests I did, that should be like 40% power. You don't have a reference, so it's not gonna mean anything. Speed 40, power 40. Just saving settings somewhere in my head. And now I should have a square that's just ready to, and that should be good. And that was very flashy. That's because it touched the honeycomb part pattern that was underneath. Did it cut through? Let's find out. It did cut through, and it's pretty clean actually. That's very clean. Did anything get burned, like charred? No. That's actually a pretty decent setting for the first try. I have this to change. There we go. Let's go down by 10% on the power. Let's try this again. Still very flashy. But, let's see. Smells like plastic now. That was also very clean. I might be able to go down more. Uh, there we go, 10% less. And we should be good. Another try. That's much less flashing. That might not even have gone through. Okay, let's see. Is that just engraving? Yep. It barely went through. It's still attached. I might need to go at 25%. And... That looks like it, it cut off. Yes, perfect. It looks clean. Might not be able to see this on camera because it's so freaking precise, but... There you go. So, let me just delete what's here and uh, load up our file, which is, which is, I don't remember where it is. There it is. Why the hell is it not showing up? Troubleshooting time. A few moments later. So sorry about that, just managed to get it to work. It's way too big, it's, it's misdimension again. Oh, come on. Where is it? Redimensioning, there we go. Few inches later. That should be just scaled down. Perfect. 40 and 25, because that's going to be a 250 micron sheet. Just going to move you into the laser once again. There you go. This is good. I've got a bit of margin on each side. About 5 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is set you to time lapse. And that's going to look, look cool. Alright, so that was fun. Uh, you might have seen that it only cut uh, the bigger lines, so it did not cut the small little circles and the ends on those little slots. So it was fun. That's something we have to solve and that's not actually going to be fun. I was kidding about that. That's going to be very annoying to fix. I'm just going to leave this part here. Blazer is still in the same position 
I'm gonna try to fix it. Uh, have a file that actually cuts it. Maybe cuts only that. That looks pretty good, and it should detach just fine. I said just, yeah, just fine. Okay, the corners are snagging a little bit, but that's not too much to worry about, I guess. So, as I was saying, the corners are snagging a bit because, like, the DXF file isn't perfect. But, looks to be detaching fine. Okay, so that's one part done. You can see it's a bit burned, maybe. Okay, so a little fit wrap. Um, camera lost battery, and people came in, so I had to stop recording for a bit. But I've got glasses now. <laughs> On jokes aside, uh, it's been going pretty well because now that I found the the right settings yeah, that weren't cutting before, uh, now it's going very well. And that's the second sheet of this type with the the front of the funnel extenders, extensions, and that's the sixth sheet in total, I think. So uh, we're pretty much almost done, and now we've got only four left that are smaller. That still takes a while. Uh, all the time lapses were shot at 2x. I don't know how fast they'll be in the video, but that takes about, I'd say, five to ten minutes per, per sheet. Okay, so now... Uh, we're almost there, that's the last drawing with the full height rear marble funnel extensions. That's pretty much the only last sheet left to do. So this is the 250 micron uh, one. I've got the 500 micron one to do. It's going pretty well. So I found good settings where the small details are done before. So you can see the, the entire line of small holes that are supposed to be the ones that join the funnel extension to the funnel and it also does the ends of the slots so that way it cuts out all the small details that don't have to stay on the part afterwards so they're they've got time to fall down and not 
get everywhere when I take that piece out of, of the machine. So, uh, it's finished. Finally finished. That was a noisy few hours, I say. Uh, all in all, everything's clean. But now we can finally turn off uh, this machine. Finally, because that was very, very noisy. That was a little a video uh, describing and explaining how I made the the funnel extensions, I guess they're called. Uh, yeah, that's all. It was Wednesday, my dudes.